him consistently. Boy, I tell you what, he's got that great first step, and he must have had some quickness porridge or something because he looks a little faster <laughs> today than normal. <laughs> so on the four for Houston, Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. JaVale McGee is out there with Laverne, and it's Beverly in at the point guard position. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. Here's Bazemore. Here's Wiggins. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Wiggins has got eight. And you can see the difference with their ability to win with their speed, guys. Boy, I love the pace and flow that their open court offense has been played with. I mean, it's been humming quietly, but very efficient. Timberwolves leading by five. Freak with it, and it's Harden picking him up. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Stolen by Harden. Lays it in off the breakaway. He's got nine. The Timberwolves shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. Here's Freak. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Harden. Got it. Good job in the low post. Harden's got four points in the quarter. Timberwolves have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And stolen by Ariza. And it's the Rockets on the break. For the lead. Can't hit. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. And, and they better stay with those basics, because this game is still yet to be determined. For the tie, the shot will not go. Timberwolves leading by three. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Freak. A three-pointer off the mark. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. And Beverly kicks to Ariza. That doesn't go either for Ariza. For Minnesota, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And it's Houston on the break. Out to the right wing. Here's Beverly, and it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. Pockets trail by eight. Williams passes to Brewer. He dishes it to Capella. Outside, Williams. Lawson against Rubio. Lawson drives in and stolen by Jang. Freak with it. He's got 12 and he gets the bucket. And for Houston, their shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. Lawson dishes to Smith. That's some nice passing there by Houston. And the rejection by Jang. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Here's Freak from beyond the arc and then some. Freak's got 17. It, it took a long time for him to get that first triple, but let's see now, though, if he can get going. Williams up on top. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. One's good. Williams has got his third basket of the night right there. One second left. Missed. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show.